go. Cool. Yeah. So, where were we? I forgot. Where were we? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was one of mine in my head. Yeah. Um, what would you say your business mission statement is? Oh, I know where we were. That's yes, so we're discussing the online, um, you know. Oh yeah, obviously um, if you were to go online, you'd have to create a campaign, you'd have to create um, an entire strategy of how to go online. You don't, you don't just say, hey, I'm going to go online and use my social media, I've got 5,000 friends, you know, but I only get 100 likes, you know. It's crazy, you only get 100 likes. Which would, you know, would, would. so you would have to create an entire campaign. Um, marketing campaign, you have to create an entire strategy and like the, the concept itself has to be different. It's not going to be the same thing. Yeah. So you still have to find a way to get the advice that your, your staff gives to the customers um, as well as delivery um, using an online platform. Yeah, definitely. So, so that would sort of be the keys. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm looking at. I think I said, I'd say that's why I'm speaking. That's what we're looking for. Looking for something fresh. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, Will that work with your customer? So you might have to change the customer, but uh, look, we live in a world whereby we, we have to adapt. Uh, um, technology is moving fast. Um, people catch on. That's sad, but that's the reality. So rather be in front than be at the back. Okay. okay, so you feel like in the near future, um, the access to, you know, internet in the township will be sufficient enough to enable you to run an online business there? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, look, we look at right now, like Facebook is, is the number one data consuming thing in the entire world. Okay. Um, we don't have to actually watch TV, we can watch whatever we want on Facebook. Okay. So why do we even turn on TVs? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. um, have you thought of moving to other townships? Seeing as your model has seemingly worked um, in your area, have you thought of just taking that and replicating it elsewhere? And if not, why not? Impact. Okay. That's why not. Impact. Yeah, right. um, I am. A, I, I, I say that I'm. I put myself as a pioneer. I'm a pioneer. Okay. I pioneer things. To me, running running a big store not as important as actually getting the impact of having something there, right? It's creating that idea that we are safe. The actual business is, is, is um, I don't know how to put this. This may sound wrong. Like for me, create doing for me replicating a model and putting it in, in, in other townships would be just normal. Okay. But for me to take that and put it into university with 100,000 students and help those people, um, that's pioneering. That's something fresh. That's something that's going to drive me. Okay. You know, um, we, t we tend to, 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 to put our gun in safety a lot as, as people once we start earning money and start understanding things and start replicating things and start doing the same thing over and over and we end up being the same. Okay. So. I mean, so so clearly your 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 next goal, your next target is students. It's um, students. Yeah, definitely. Do you have a plan on how you actually want to yeah. tackle that? It's a very tricky environment. Look, we've, um, we've been working on it. Uh, my guy will tell you, we've been working on it for. Uh, been talking with some heavy people there, so for the past like year, just thinking about like the concept itself. I mean, it's it's a very it's a very tricky concept. You know, these things don't just happen. Okay. You know, um, it, it took took over six or seven months to, to just have that mobile one container. Okay. You know, it's it's not just an overnight success okay. as people see it. So your your container is mobile, so you can. The reason why it's it's mobile, it's not actually because of um, it's because it's not um, made out of bricks. So okay. it's a container form. The container itself is mobile. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. But you don't move it. No. You never move it. Okay. Okay, okay that makes sense. That costs a lot, man. <laughs> um, any barriers to entry into your industry? Like, what would stop yeah, you yeah. from going to Kailija and opening a med store right next to yours? 
Look, you can open up. Like, I always feel like people can, people will always replicate what you're doing, but um, the difference is that I spend so much time creating the concept. Okay. I'll forever stay longer. Like, so there's no barriers to enter the, the field, except for the fact that you have to actually have some sort of certification. Yeah. Well, so if you don't have that, then you're in trouble and you have to have some, there's regulations and there's obviously, um, there's the Western Cape Health Department and there's certain things that you have to go through in order to, to, to ensure that. That's why it's vital to have a, a bigger party. Um, if you are out to open something, you need like a doctor um, or you need a company like your aspirin or your supplier to partner with you so that the barriers just because, yeah. So, so your partnership with with Sibla, I, I'm gonna go back to that. It sort of helped break um, the barriers, you know, some of the barriers that you would have had if you just decided to go on alone. Let's just say Sibla was fighting the bigger battles. Okay, okay, <laughs> battles beyond. <laughs> okay, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Um, what's the cost to fully fit a store? Um, or fully stock a store, and yeah, how was the company financed? Uh, and if it was debt financing, has it paid off? Do you have interest payments? No. Uh, I won't talk about where the money came from. The money came. <laughs> uh, set up to set up the store it was two hundred eighty k. Okay. Two hundred eighty thousand. Uh, which was a quarter million to to actually the store fitting was a quarter million. So it's a quarter million to fit in the store. A container? Yeah. Wow. Um, obviously, you can't burn. Obviously, there's, um, there's, oh, a, yes, yes. there's a lot of things that go in. It's it's help. It's help, yeah. It's help. Okay. Then it was, um, okay. so it was with, uh, 29 coins up. It's about 30k in stock. Yeah, still wasn't enough, but it was, it started off, started off with 30k, so it was about 280,000 to, to just keep it off. Um, do you have any projects with the government? Do you receive any aid from the government? Never. Do you want aid from the government? And I can't say no to money. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, look, the that's that sector itself is, is, is just it's just enormous and, and it's so hard to work with. So we, 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 like it's something we like I'm not trying to touch. You know, okay. uh, private is much better because it's. You actually have control. I mean, you had a lot of problems with the uh, supply as well, and a lot of decisions coming down, you know, and just you know, because of, of that power thing. So you, you, you want private private investors if you want to be investors. Okay. Um, this is a very interesting one. Would you consider partnering with universities as a means of staff Definitely. Is it? Of staff recruitment for your business? Definitely. And as a means of providing work experience Definitely. for your students? Definitely. Definitely. If yes, yes, which that's is the clearly reason. yes, that's the <laughs> yeah. what, would be, what would be the barriers or challenges um, that you face the, in, in your perspective, if, if you've even um, attempted? Like obviously would be um, one thing with reliance, like we can't really rely on students, you know, it's so hard to rely on students. Is it? <laughs> they, don't actually, they want the money, they don't need the money. Okay. So it's, um, I mean, just from that point of view, it just, you know. Um, that point is something that we're looking into, like obviously when you're putting, like, if you're taking the container form into a university, then you just have university people working there. Okay, cool. So we, like you cool. work within the university to, to actually adjust that, so you don't, you don't actually need uh, to hire people. It's just a rotation. Okay, yeah. perfect sense, perfect sense. I think I've, I've captured the essence of most of these questions. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, Kosi. Oh, who's there over there? Can I just um, get a brief overview of who you see as your main competition? My main competition? Yeah, in your area. In my area? Yeah. So just where the container is, who's um, your competition? Competi there can only be one competition. Uh, that is the big pharmacies. I mean, okay. there will always be a competition because um, the rate that they're buying things at uh, will always be uh, lower. I mean, you would be selling something for 20 rand, you'll be selling 16 rand. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that there is no other competition but that competition. Okay. By, by, by there is no other competition, do you mean there aren't any other med stores or you just don't see them? I mean, there's two med stores in Kailich. I mean, it's, 
the entire Kailicha, maybe yeah. a specific zone. Entire Kailicha. Okay. Zone. So it's 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 not about. I mean, the mid stores are actually not in competition because it's it's a pass on. I mean, the Kailicha is so big. I mean, they just pulled out a new stat, which I'm not sure. I mean, which uh, we were shocked when they said there's about three million people now in Kailicha. I mean. With those numbers, why would you want to be fighting with another myth store? Okay. You know, you've got your own portion. You know, you've got your own portion of people, which you probably have close to, like, probably, what, 100,000 people to serve, just in one section, you know, so. So with three million people, why do you still have only one store? Because I'm not looking to go into the heaven. Okay. I've done what I've done. I've, um, I've achieved what I wanted to do. I've got the accolades. I've won awards because of it. And that's it. Like okay. it's done. There's nothing more I can do for the okay. for the for the for the, for the thing. Now. So you're not planning on growing into the township. You're planning on basically taking it out of the township to. It's about university. pioneering, like okay. what I'm saying. Like uh, I'm an entrepreneur in and out. Uh, I take risks. I do new things. Um, that's why. That's why I'm here right now. That's what I do. Like I, I'm not a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, makes sense. I like that. I like Another question. <laughs> I think you've answered it already. It was connected to Sipla. Okay. Um, because it was it's a, it was a little bit confusing because it looked like the whole shop left is like a avenue in their business, part of their corporate social responsibility. So are you still run it as your own business, and then Sipla just provides training? Is that how it works? So yeah, for Sipla, it's a, it's. So simpler for them, it's um, it's just with the with for them, it's getting stock out. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's getting stock out. And then you're one of the places 